something to the city that you you played in. And uh, uh, that was the reason, I said, suppose, because I was strictly a Pittsburgher. It was the night before the Super Bowl, and all through the air, the smell of cold steel could be sensed everywhere. Sun Devil Stadium was dressed up and clean. The city of Tempe seemed so serene. The teams had retired to get a good rest. Tomorrow they would prove just who was the best. I got off my knees and jumped into bed. I turned on Chris Berman, and here's what he said. The Steelers are back. No, this is no dream. The Cowboys will meet America's real team. The Steelers and Cowboys, oh, what a scrap. I turned off the tube to take my night's nap. As I slept in the desert in the five-star hotel, some strange things were happening, and Berman won't tell. The security force who were guarding the field, they saw it all, but their lips are sealed. But one did see it. He was down there that night. He stood on the 50 and waited for daylight. His name is Cower, and he met with the boss. Yes, the spirit of Art Rooney, that field it did cross. Mr. Rooney told him to stay there all night, then go to his team at first day's light. As the coach watched the sky and the sun did appear, Cower saw Rooney shedding a tear. Thank you, my son, for ring number five. My Steelers are back and my spirit's alive.